Kong and hi, my name is Nuna Zaramiti Zakaria. I am from School of Physics, first year students majoring in Medical Physics and I am as a script writer. Hi, my name is Caroline Kusilamor. I am from School of Physics, majoring in Medical Physics and I am a first year student and my role is a editor. Hello everyone, my name is Kitty Apa Anna from Prabhatshum. I am from School of Physics and I am taking major in Medical Physics. satellite? No, that is a magnetometer. Have you been here about it before? No, uh, it's okay. Now, listen to my story about history of magnetometer and explore. JUICE, or as known as Jupiter Icy Moon Explorer, is an ESA science mission dedicated to the investigation of the Jupiter system. JUICE has successfully passed its latest milestone Space engineers at Airbus Satellite Integration Center in Friedrichshafen in Germany have attached the magnetometer bomb or mag bomb to the spacecraft. The mag bomb carries five magnetically sensitive instrument sensors to keep them far from any disturbances from the main spacecraft. The sensors are part of the magnetometer J Mag and the radio and plasma wave investigation, or as known as. RPWI scientific instruments. JMAG is a magnetometer package to study the Jovian magnetosphere and its interaction with the three icy moons Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, in particular with Ganymede's in intrinsic magnetic field. The RPWI instrument will investigate the radio emissions and plasma environments of Jupiter and its icy moons. The MAG boom is made of non-magnetic materials such as carbon fiber, various titanium and aluminium alloys, and bronze. The JUICE spacecraft will carry the most powerful remote sensing, geophysical and in-situ payload complement ever flown to the outer solar system. Its payload consists of 10 state-of-the-art instruments including camera, spectrometers, and sub-MM wave instruments an IC penetrating threader, a laser altimeter, a radio science experiment, and instrument packages to monitor the magnetic, electric field, and charged particles. Enough about the history. So, do you curious about make boom function? Let's get into it. A magnetometer is a device that measures the intensity and direction of magnetic fields. A magnetometer needs to be held away from the spacecraft or satellite so that magnetic fields generated by magnetometer's carrier do not influence or alter the data. The magnetometer boom is what pulls the device away from the satellite. Magnetometer with the boom will project clear of the main body of the spacecraft, allowing it to make measurements clear of any magnetic interference. Its goal is to measure Jupiter's magnetic field, its interaction with the internal magnetic field of Ganymede, and to study subsurface oceans of the icy moons. There are functional tests of the mag boom to make sure it's perfect. The test consists of a deployment test of the complete boom. Demonstrate that the boom can be deployed by using X deployment and retention system. So, how do the make boom work? Do you want to know? What? Okay, let's go. The magnetometer boom allows the magnetometer to make observations with less interference and will measure the direct current magnetic field in the spacecraft vicinity. This is a conventional dual sensor flux gate design with the addition of an absolute color sensor in order to derive the magnetometer calibration during the main operation phase at Ganymede. Oh, hi! Mm, do you want to know about the characteristic of MacBook? Yes? Focus everyone! 
First, performance requirements. The deploy pointing accuracy of the complete boom under the specified environmental condition shall be less than 0.1 degree. The mass of the bomb shall not exceed 30 kg and shall have a first resonance frequency higher than 55 Hz in stored configuration and higher than 0.1 Hz in deployed configuration. The total length of the boom is 10.6 meters in deployed configuration. Second, environmental requirements. The launch load that the make boom shall withstand are 20 grams in size vibration, up to 16.5 grams in random vibration, and a SRS shock level of up to 1,500 grams. Due to limited power of resource in Jupiter environment, the MAC boom and the sensors have to rely mainly on the passive thermal control with conductive and radiative insulation. Third, it's about bomb structure. The MAC boom is composed of three segments, which is inner boom assembly, intermediate boom assembly, and outer boom assembly. The three tubes are made of carbon fiber, reinforced plastic, or as known as CFRP tubes and several titanium fittings bonded at each end. Instrument location and HDRM location, with the exception of three CFRP brackets where the most sensitive sensors will be installed. Oh, lastly, it's about design description. The volume of the boom in stone configuration is 3,800 times 546 times 530 mm and once deployed, the total length is 10.6 meters. Do you know that magnetometer has their own advantage and disadvantage? The advantage of magnetometer are it can be used throughout the orbit with the sun side or dark side. It consumes low power and it offers wide magnetic field range of measurement. Hmm. Throughout all the advantage, we still have the drawback. The disadvantage of magnetometer are it does not provide much precision. It cannot be used with magneto tokers and mounting of cheap base magnetometer on the board is critical. The field effects of transformers or relays must be taken into account. Low voltage and low current in the circuit, trace can create magnetic field sufficient enough to disturb a chip. Have you satisfied after hearing about it? Great! Last but not least, we can conclude that the size of this boom, along with the exceptional environmental conditions needed for this mission, such as magnetic cleanliness, thermal conditions, radiation and mass requirements, all of the materials and components such as the viscous temper, separation nuts, micro switches and MLI were defined early on to reduce the chance of making magnetic cleanliness in the vicinity of the sensors that was not suitable. Given the very sensitive sensors on board the boom, magnetic corrosion during the machining of the metallic pieces was also a point of concern. The boom has undergone a rigorous qualification process that has validated the design's ability to meet the mission's specifications. Thank you!